Hey guys, this is Studio X News, and I'm coming at you with another report. This is, <clears throat> a lot of people have been asking about the update for Turkey and Syria, and boy, this is really turning out to be a mess. Um, I'm going to go to the latest uh, post. This is from the Jerusalem Post. This was one hour ago. Turkey attacks Kurds in Iraq, Syria as US, the U.S. withdraws. The, come, the attacks come after the U.S. announced that it would withdraw from Syria as Turkey prepares for a military operation to create a safe zone in northern Syria. Turkish forces carried out attacks against Kurdish forces and the anti-Assad Syrian Democratic Forces militia in Syria and Iraq near the Turkish border on Monday evening. Turkish forces attacked SDF positions in the city of al Malikia in the Hasaka area in northern Syria, according to Syrian state news agency SANA. SANA. The SDF includes Kurds in other eastern Syria which the U.S. had helped train, assist, and devise during the war on ISIS. Turkey will move forward with its long-planned military operation to create what it calls a safe zone in northern Syria, and the U.S. forces will not support or be involved in it, the White House press secretary announced early Monday morning. The United States Armed Forces will not support or be involved in the operation, and the United States forces, having defeated ISIS territorial calf Caliphate will no longer be in the media area, said the White House press secretary on Monday morning. Also, let me get to this other. Um, as the U.S. barely, barely made it out of there before Turkey basically bombed right behind them, um, the Turkish troops. Um, Barely, like I said, letting U.S. get out. The Kurdish were basically begging um, America to stay with them. Don't leave them. It was going to be a bloodbath. Um, this is a stab in the back. Uh, telling the U.S. that you're, you're leaving us to get murdered, slaughtered. Um, this, is, this is really crazy. So, anyways, I want you to know that you can look up on Jerusalem Post. To go ahead and see the article I read. Also, the Washington Post. Also, Al Jazeera. Also, CNBC. Um, also, I think this is uh, commondreams.org. A um, lot of sites that you can go verify this information. And... Um, do the research for yourself. Keep up with it. I'm going to pause. I'm going to come on here throughout the day like I have been the last couple of days. And I'm just going to keep bringing out the news where I find it. Let you know. I know a lot of you are working. You're busy. At least you can listen to this while you're cooking or cleaning or getting your kids ready or whatever you have to do. I put um, the sites on there that I found this information just in case you need to look it up. So you can verify. Other than that. I'm going to keep you updated as much as I can and as quick as I can. Things are getting hot out there, folks. All right. This is Studio X News, and you know what I'm going to say. I'm out.